Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is July 23rd, 2023, and it's reported that Dembele has rejected a multi-million dollar offer from the Saudi Pro League. Also, the Belgian club Anderlecht are trying to hijack Barcelona's signing of Tudor Wendell Aidao. And finally, Barca Athletic have finalized two more transfers. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, my name is Mo and before we begin with the news I would just like to apologize for not posting a video yesterday, unfortunately I was not feeling well but now I'm fully recovered and ready to bring you all the Barcelona news which there's a lot since I did miss yesterday's video but of course as always make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise make sure you hit the kit back. The link is down below in the description. Now, beyond the news that Barcelona's summer preseason tour here in the USA is off to a rough start after the club had to cancel the match against Juventus that was set to take place yesterday, Saturday, July 22nd, because of a, because of a virus where several players of the team got sick. Now, there were some rumors saying that it was Alejandro Balde who had traveled to Africa to visit his father's country and that supposedly he was not vaccinated against all the diseases that he was supposed to get vaccinated against and as a result he brought back a disease with him that got many of the players sick but this has not been corroborated by the club so I really highly doubt this report and instead Barcelona have said there's a stomach virus going on amongst the team and that is why they had to cancel the match with Juventus because all the players who got sick needed 48 hours to recover which of course was not enough time and they weren't gonna be ready uh, in time for the match. Now this will be a big blow for Barcelona because it's reported that the club are set to lose between two to three million euros from having to cancel this match and given the financial situation of the club, this will this is definitely not good news. Now it's reported that all the players who got sick are almost or have already recovered and the club are currently working with Arsenal in order to make sure that the match does take place on Wednesday in Los Angeles, California. That way Barcelona can continue its preseason tour and not lose any money, but also so the team can continue preparation ahead of the 2023-2024 La Liga season. Now, speaking of Juventus, it's reported that Barcelona are still negotiating with the City A club for the offloading of Frank C, and it seems that Barcelona could end up acquiescing and agreeing to transferring C for as low as 50 million euros. Now Barcelona were hoping to offload Frank C for around 25 million euros and Juventus initial offer was for a loan with an option to buy but as negotiations have continued it looks like Barcelona could end up offloading Frank C for around 50 million euros and this will be a permanent transfer because Barcelona do not want any kind of loan deal so the sacrifice would be that Barcelona would offload Frank C right now permanently to Juventus but in exchange, the club would have to agree to a lower price, which is around 50 million euros. Now, I know some of you might say that this is too low and that Barcelona are getting finessed or they're getting uh, perhaps scammed. But unfortunately, that is the reality of the club. Barcelona need to offload players as soon as possible in order to clear space on the wage bill to register the contract renewals and the new signings. And also Juventus are not having a good time with their financial fair play or with their economy and that's as much as they can pay. And since they're the only club who have been seriously negotiating with Barcelona and they're the only club who have actually made an offer to Barcelona, and it looks like Barcelona might end up having to agree and offloading Frank C for 15 million euros. Now the Ivorian midfielder initially did not wanna go back to the Serie A because he considered that as a closed chapter in his career but it seems that as time is passing by, Frank C is realizing that he's probably not gonna be getting much playing time at Barcelona. So he's becoming more and more accepting of the idea of moving to Juventus because there he would not only be a starter, but he will be in charge of all of Juventus midfield. And, it's a, and that's a role that of course, he's not gonna find here at Barcelona. Now on to the news that both Gabi and Balde have been nominated for the Golden Boy Award. And of course, it's an award that Gabi just won recently. And before him, it was Pedri who also won it. And with the first Barcelona player to win it was Lionel Messi back in 2005. And interestingly enough, none of Real Madrid's have ever won this award ever since its, uh, ever since its inception. 
So we're going to have to see who will be the winner because if another Barcelona does end up winning the Golden Boy Award this season, that would mean that Barcelona would have won it three seasons in a row. And I really think Alejandro Valde has a great chance of winning it, especially after the last season that he had. And we'll see. I'm pretty sure he's going to have even a greater season this upcoming one. Now on to the news that Dembele has reportedly rejected a multi-million dollar offer from the Saudi Pro League club Al Nasser, which is where Cristiano Ronaldo currently plays. Now, it seems that the Saudi club offered Dembele a salary worth 220 million euros per season, which is an insane amount of money. And yet the French player rejected that offer because he's happy in Barcelona and that's the only club that he wants to be at. Now, as a reminder, Dembele does have a release clause worth 50 million euros where if any club activates it only 25 of those 50 million euros would go to Barcelona so this would mean that Barcelona would have only gotten 25 million euros out of this uh, out of this offer with Dembele getting the other 25 million euros plus the 220 million euro salary per season and despite all of this money that Dembele was offered probably more money than he's ever made in his career he still said no because again he's fully committed to Xabi's project and he's fully committed to FC Barcelona. Well now it's time to turn our attention to Barca Athletic because it seems that the Belgian club Anderlecht are trying to hijack Barcelona's operation for the signing of Tudor Mendo Aidao. Now I reported about Tudor a few days ago. He's an 18 year old Chelsea Academy graduate and he's considered one of the most promising wingers in all of the European continent and he decided not to renew his contract with Chelsea and as a result became a free Asian and that's when Barcelona swooped in and agreed to personal terms with the player so he can join with Barca, uh, Barca Athletic but with the idea that he would be in a first team dynamic meaning that he would train with the first team and perhaps play some matches with the first team as well. Well now during the final moments it seems that the Belgian club Anderlecht are trying to hijack this operation offering Tudor a starting position on their first team and offering him uh, incentives and bonuses to try to take the player away from Barcelona. But it's reported that the club are confident that Tudor will end up signing for Barcelona because after all, it will be a more exciting or promising project than going to the Belgian league. Now, one player that Barcelona have been able to finalize the signing is Alvaro Perez Campo, or as he's known as Trilli. As Barcelona confirmed the news that I shared with you last week that they have finalized the signing of Trilli for Barca Athletic. Now Trilli is a 20 year old right back, one of the most promising right backs currently in Spanish football and he was playing for the second division Deportivo La Coruña and after Deportivo La Coruña failed to qualify to the first division his release clause was set at 200,000 euros which is reported that Barcelona agreed to pay it and they have now confirmed the signing of Trilli for Barca Athletic, another player who will be in first team dynamic, which means that he will be training with the first team and also perhaps play some matches with the first team as well. Now Barcelona have been able to sign Trilli for two seasons, so until 2025, and he has reportedly passed all his medical exams and he will be reporting the training tomorrow, Monday, July the 24th. Now another transfer that Barca Athletic have been able to finalize is the loan of Shadriyad, who will be joining Real Betis. Now, Shadi Riyad is one of the most promising center backs to come out of the Barca Athletic or the Barca Academy. And he was hoping to join the first team, but unfortunately with the presence of the likes of Araujo, Christensen, Jules Kunde, and now with the signing of Inigo Martinez, seeing that Shadi Riyad had no place on the first team. So it seems that Xavi Hernandez told the player that he wanted him to go on loan so he can continue uh, growing and developing and he can get exposure to the first division because there's no doubt that Shadi Riyad has already a grown Barca Athletic. Now it seems that Shadi Riyad will be joining Barca Athletic on a one season loan and to me this is good news because the player will be able to get exposure to the first division, continue growing and developing and who knows maybe next season he'll be able to come back to the first team and fight for his spot. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please give me a like. Also I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I'd like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, bis cabarsa.